Hey guys and very welcome to this video. This will be part two of my battery heating project and if you haven't seen my first video on this I will I will uh, leave a link down in the description for you if you want to see that first. But uh, today I am just going to fill this up with antifreeze. Then I am going to test my heater here. And uh, one subscriber to me actually was a little concerned if this pump here will overcome the power loss or pressure loss in the system because we have a pretty long way to pump this uh, antifreeze coolant so maybe this pump won't be enough then I have to install another pump but uh, I will first just try this out and hopefully that will be just fine all right let's start this up and as always very welcome It's now important to bleed the system so we don't have any air left inside of it. And here are my thermostat that I am planning to use with this system and here are the temp sensor for that. And this will of course be inside of the battery later on. But for now I will just have it here. And it is uh, very simple. You have the temperature and you will have the start temperature there and stop temperature there. So I have set it up to uh, start to heat the battery around 5 degrees Celsius and then turn off at 8 degrees. I will start with that and see if that will be fine. But now I will just test my pump here and see if I have any air in the system. Probably I have that, but I will see if that uh, little pump inside will take the fluid directly or if I need to do something else here. So here we go, guys. I could hear the pump there, but I'm not sure if if it will take the fluid. Okay guys, it's uh, 30 minutes later here and I uh, have a lot of air in the system. So I will try to uh, vacuum pump the system and uh, see if I have any success with that. And I hope I don't kill my little vacuum pump that I used to my <laughs> AC system and stuff like that. So let's start this pump up. I will just hold it here and see if I have any success with it. A lot of air is coming out. I 
have to fill it up again. I don't know if you saw that, but the horses here <laughs> was was actually pretty flat. Try this again. Maybe I. I think that that will do. I will not have it too full before I have all the air out. So let's do this again. Alright, let's see if the pump will take the fluid now. All right, guys, I have to say that uh, this works absolutely fantastic. It was a little hard to uh, get out all the air there, but uh, after that, it uh, seems to pump the coolant fluid really well, actually better than I had expected. So that's nice. My uh, heater here don't even feel warm at all, so that indicates that uh, the fluid have a pretty high uh, flow rate over the heating body inside of it. Because if you have low flow rate, you will have a lot of heat around the heater. That is really, really cool, so it works very well. So now I just have to install my temp sensor. But that will be later on because now it's getting dark here and it is also a lot of moisture in the air so I don't want to open up my battery and risk to have a lot of moisture inside of it. So I'm going to take that later on but I think you got the idea here and I have finally tested this and it works just fantastic. So uh, thank you so much for watching guys and uh, please if you haven't already make sure to subscribe give me a thumbs up then i see you next time thank you bye